The documentary is Bell Breezing and the Gilded Age of the Bluegrass. Basically covering the life of Bell Breezing, who was a very um, notorious businesswoman. She was a prostitute and uh, ran a, um, a brothel in Lexington during the Gilded Age. Um, and so it documents her life uh, and her relationship to, I think, the city as well as the horse industry. This new book by Mary Jean Wall, uh, I think is kind of what sparked the interest in it. Uh, but what she seemed to do was she really talked about Lexington during this period and the horse industry and how well connected this woman was into the horse industry. And I think that brought a new aspect to the story that hadn't really been considered before. What Doug wanted were these historical reenactments playing out in the background or throughout the piece, uh, and that was that was his desire. And so I was able to kind of help make that part of it happen. You know, I was trying to think in terms of, you know, not just always putting her in a nightgown or a dressing gown, you know, not playing up the prostitute angle, but she was a good businesswoman, I suspect, or she wouldn't have lasted as long as she did. So I tried to suggest that. You know, I really just tried to look at a a range of styles. So, you know, I mean, every, you know, what I did went everywhere from about 1880 up to about 1910, 1906 maybe. Fortunately, University of Kentucky Special Collections has almost all of these images that survived from her house. So I started there looking at, you know, there are a few images of actually of her, but there's images of her house. Uh, there's a lot of images of people that were obviously in her life. So you're looking for clothing that is going to be, that will fit in this community, that would make sense. Once I was hired, I thought, okay, I'm going to need an assistant on this because, you know, I need, I need help. And so I have this great student, Ian Witten, who is, he's now, he's a senior. He's been working with me for the past three years. Actually, this has been a really fun learning experience. I've learned a little bit about Bell uh, and Lexington at the time. I really enjoyed this dress because of the historical connotations. Um, we have the photo of the dress similar to this, and it was really uh, interesting to see how um, not this particular dress, but something similar gets worked into a piece. Because she needed to stand out. She's in this scene with a lot of people, and she's the most important person on the screen. Uh, and I started thinking back to Gone with the Wind, which the character of Belle Watling we know is, you know, now we know is based on Belle Breezing. And I thought back to Ona Munson in that film, and my one favorite costume from the first time I saw that movie is the scene where she's there in this striking gold dress with the scarlet trim and with red. And I, and I suddenly, it, it was a jolt, and I thought, that, that color combination, because I know that that color combination was very popular in the Victorian period. I've seen a number of fashion illustrations where they describe the you know, the dress is gold, scarlet trim, and, and, and I've even read that that, you know, in researching years before, that that color combination was very popular. Then when you see her in the pictures with the other girls, she is the most important thing in the room, and it worked out really beautifully. I really enjoy building and creating, um, and costuming and theater and film has given me that option, and, you know, I get to say, you know, I built that, and uh, it's really great to see something that you've worked so hard on uh, be used for bigger and better things. That was really, for me, it was invaluable help. And I hope, and I think, it kind of gave him a, a sense of what it's like to actually do this for a living as opposed to, you know, what we just do in the costume shop at the university. It was a learning experience and I enjoy trying new things and uh, film was a lot of fun.